What is your song of the summer? Either Cheap Sunglasses by RAC, which is a really fun, like upbeat, poppy song, and it's like really different. Yeah. Or um, Semi Love by Adele. Oh. Those are my jams right now. Oh, that's a toss up. Poppy right? and like danceable or Adele. Yeah. What about you? What's your summer song? I I thought about this for a while because, I like, I mean, like you, I didn't really understand what they meant by a summer song. Is it as obvious as Summer Nights from Greece, or yeah. is it like more, <laughs> like more general, like a song you always listen to in summer? At the restaurant that I work at, we have the radio going all day long. And the one song that continuously comes on every time I'm on shift is Shut Up and Dance With Me. It kind of reminds me of when I would go to a banquet with my girlfriend during the school mm -hmm. year. So I guess that little memory has upped the ante in my books. Yeah, absolutely. Sunglasses or hats? I'm a both person. Okay. Because <laughs> I like me some snapbacks. Mm-hmm. Love me some snapbacks, but I always need my sunglasses, 100%. Like, I have an extra pair in my car in case I forget to bring a pair yeah. to my car. If I had to choose one, it'd be the sunglasses, but I'm a both person. Yeah, I noticed that when we first met, because I think you were wearing a hat and you did have some sunglasses. Yeah, I, I probably had a snapback on and had the sunglasses sitting on the bill because we were inside. What about you? Uh, what do you for choose? For me, I have to say hats. I have a lot of, well, I don't know about a lot, but I have a good number of nerdy hats. Oh yeah? I like what? I have one that's like straight up the flash. Okay. So like it has the lightning bolt on it. Yep. I have a hat that has like spray painted 3D glasses and across oh. it says Alon Z. I have uh, a Pokemon hat, mm -hmm. like po a actual Pokeball. Yeah. So I like to wear that when I go Pokemon hunting. And then I have my red Trixon hat that I got at VidCon. Yeah. So cool. I, due to the number of hats that I have, I'd say I'm a lot more of a hat person. What is your favorite summer scent? The first thing that comes to my mind is like campfires. Mm -hmm. My family used to like camp a lot and then like girl guides, we also camped. Right. And so like campfire is just like one of those like huge summer scents. And like, even though I would smell like campfire for days until I washed my sweatshirt or sweatpants or whatever, yeah. like I would still like, I'd be like, oh, campfire smell, <laughs> right? It's just one of those smells that like, makes me happy yeah. <laughs> in like a weird way for sure i have to go with an evening barbecue like i'm talking fresh burgers mm -hmm. or ribs or even corn on the cob over the grill yeah like that gets me even if it's not my own barbecue it could yeah. be happening down the street and yeah. somehow my <laughs> nose would still pick it up and i just go Oh, they're having such a good deal meal tonight. I'm the same exact way. Like I'll walk outside and be like, oh, someone's having a barbecue. Where is <laughs> oh, it? Maybe I can those lucky maybe ducks. I can crash it. Yeah, exactly. Do you have a summer bucket list? This summer not really. I mean, I did like I did a goals canvas, quote unquote. Okay. Um, and so like I took a like a canvas and I drew out my goals for the year on it and my goals were like travel so vidcon and then uh i wanted to do youtube which i did a little bit i, I saw that you did do a collab with someone a little while ago i did i did a collab with my friend matt he was i met him at vidcon last year and we finally had time to collab and so that was a lot of fun another one of my goals for the year was like to push out outside my box a little bit. Mm -hmm. And so at VidCon, I talked to a lot of people. I would randomly say, hi, my name's Peyton. I uh, make videos on the friend. internet. Yeah, I make videos on the internet sometimes. <laughs> and so, and like, I wore a bunch of Canada stuff 
on day one of VidCon so that people would be like, Canada! And they literally, like this happened. People would shout Canada and be like, hi, do you want to be my friend? Basically is what happened. <laughs> oh, that's great. So I guess that would be kind of like a bucket list. Like, do VidCon, go out of my comfort zone, and then working. I have an unofficial summer bucket list for like continuing summers. I haven't actually written anything down except a few things on my iPad. Mm -hmm. uh, like, I want to spend time on the water. I can't get to a beach easily. I'm in the middle of Nova Scotia and mm -hmm. to get to a beach I have to either go to the other coast or down Yarmouth Way, which has been classified as the edge of nowhere. Whether it's down on a beach somewhere or a camp, I just want to be able to get where water is because I mm -hmm. miss being on the water during summer. Yeah. Or, you know, if I have a friend who happens to own a boat, let's go on a boat adventure. If it's yeah. fishing, let's go fish. If it's random drive out in the middle of the ocean and hang out there for a few hours. <laughs> I'm all right with that, just as long as we don't get eaten by predators. That's all that matters. <laughs> exactly. I want more summer YouTube stuff. Yeah. Like that is my, I feel like that is my lifeblood for summer now. Yeah. <laughs> This is my third VidCon, right? Yeah. And so, like, that first summer I went, I'm like, oh no, I'm addicted now. This is a problem. <laughs> and then, like, between that summer and the next VidCon, they announced Creator tra Track. And I'm like, oh no, now I have to go. <laughs> now I'm I obligated. I have no choice. I have to go because I'm a creator. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad now that I've gone out to California for VidCon. <laughs> because all local cons fail in comparison. <laughs> like, HalCon that happens every single year, like, I loved it. Yeah. And then coming back from California, I'm like, this is really small and there's like right. no YouTubers. Yeah. <laughs> I don't feel like this is beneficial for me anymore. The last question, what is your favorite thing about summer? My favorite thing about summer is probably the opportunity to travel. Because I'm a college student, I have a lot of responsibilities at school, which means during the school year I can't travel so much. But in the summer, obviously, I get the chance to travel. I've done so many summer trips. Having that opportunity to travel and that space of time where I can be like, I can go to a trip on Ch in Chicago. That's fine, <laughs> right? So I that would be my one favorite thing. Oh man, I so wish I could do more traveling. You know exactly what money is like with university. Yeah. So that's tight. Like, yeah. if you're not, if you don't have a steady job, then you're not going to be really making enough to survive the next school year, let yeah. alone plan a trip anywhere. It just takes all that planning, right? Yep. Something I need to work on. <laughs> My favorite thing about summer would be getting to spend between three and four months with my friends. Like that is the greatest place for me to be is with people who understand me and relate to me in a yeah. way that I don't always get wherever I go. And also <laughs> making videos for those yeah. three to four months. Like, I'm really trying to stay consistent on a two video a week schedule, and summer is like the best time for me to do that because the only thing I really have in the way is work. Gotta keep working to achieve our dreams and our goals. Yep. <laughs> we can do it. We can do it. All of the YouTube power. <laughs> Okay, those are all the questions for the summer tag. Thank you very much, Peyton, for joining me in this. Of course, it, it was, was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. I've never actually done a collab, like, almost cross-country like this. I know, this is really weird. I've never done this before either. <laughs> Where can people find you online, on the internets, everywhere? 
You can find me basically anywhere with at Peyton Media, P-A-Y-T-O-N-M-E-D-I-A. I am basically everywhere because I'm a social media junkie. <laughs> The All best right. place to contact me is on Twitter, but I would also appreciate you subscribing to my YouTube channel. That I will post a link for down in the description, and may possibly put up in that little eye in the sky over that way. Eye in so the sky. Click that, and you should be able to find her. My social media links will also be down in the description, as they are in every video. But for now, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you do enjoy this video, please be sure to hit the like button and share it with a friend or family member. I will be back on Sunday. This is Sunday. I'll be back on Thursday with another video. So until then, have a great day and I'll see you around. Live to be different and be who you were made to be.